this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for your February 2019 monthly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, or Rising. If this does not resonate with your Sun sign, darling, check out your Moon and your Rising, and I'm sure you'll find something that resonates with it. Um, but this is general, so don't forget that. If it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. So appreciate it. Uh, if you're a freaking flyer, welcome aboard again. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe, share, leave me some comments, and let's get into this reading. We're going to go over the overall energies first. Overall energy, I've got the three of crystals, so I do see partnership happening. If you notice, her crown chakra is just lit up like a firecracker. Um, yeah, it's lit up like the sun, as well as her trusty leopard next to her. Um... So I do see some very significant partnerships continuing if they've already not started yet or you'll come into some partnerships, but that's going to continue. Um, collaborations, lots of collaborations, new opportunities for new collaborations as well. You're going to have multiple choices, all good ones, the Seven of Cups coming at you. Those things that you've been um, looking to see some manifestation from, some growth from the, with the Seven of Crystals, that is the overall energy. You're going to start seeing some sprouts coming up. And then last but not least, we do have the Nine of Wands as well. Um, so rest, like get some rest in it. Rest in the knowledge that those seeds that you've planted are growing. There's no need to really like be mm, overly intense with it. Um, the seeds have been planted. Let them take root. Um, and then come into some peace with the four swords. Okay. So that's some good overall energy we have. So we're going to get right into the monthly reading. The first week of February, Ace of Wands. Mm. new passion it starts um <laughs> here's the three of crystals again did not want to go back in uh so this could be in business as well spiritual partnerships business partnerships something you're very high hotly passionate about that's right there in your wheelhouse um with the eight of swords i feel like you guys have been feeling rather Financially strapped, financially trapped, trapped in your career that you're in right now or trapped potentially in a relationship you're in right now. Um, I'm not necessarily feeling the relationship side, but it could be that as well. I do see you getting out or find, being inspired. Lots of inspiration to be able to get out of the rut that you're in and lots of motivation to really just move your, propel yourself forward and into some fantastic abundance with that 10 of crystals all around manifestation in every area of your life. Very good way to start the, the, the month out. The second week, we have the King of Wands. Hmm. Mm. Again, much more passion, lots of fire energy this month for you, Leo, um, which is good. I mean, this this is your element, and I think it's going to give you a little bit more umph. You know, you roar a lot, Leo, but you don't always, like, chomp down, right? The Page of Cups, also don't forget to have fun. Also, cut yourself loose from things that are weighing you down, please. Yeah. Cut yourself loose from things that are weighing you down and not allowing you to express your fun-loving self as well. Really become, get into your own element because here again, we have the King of Crystals. A number of abundance cards are here already. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Financial abundance. Manifestation of thoughts, patterns, of uh, desires uh, coming into the third dimensional realm. But I feel like you've been so focused on other stuff and overly focused on how others see you and feel you. And those people that don't honestly mean anything, they don't have your best interest at heart. Sorry, Leo. This is early in the day. I don't know why. I'm, I do know why, because I was shoveling and I have a foot of snow today. Anyway, um... But there's so much abundance here, and you're right on the precipice of a breakthrough. I would hate to see you miss it because you're so focused on other people that do not have your best interest at heart. And honestly, that you really shouldn't be giving that much energy to right now because they're not reciprocating it. They're not giving it back. So, and, and it's almost as if they're using you, Leo. So don't let anybody take your kindness for weakness, and don't be a fool and get used. Hmm. 
Don't be full and get used, honey. You know, you meant the best, right? You meant it for the best, and it wasn't as if you weren't genuine in your efforts. But again, really examine people's uh, motivations and let their actions speak louder than their words. Three of Cups, third week coming into celebratory time. I think that if you just go on and really kind of let yourself loose, let yourself like have some new starts, have some new friends, have some new fun, um, really get into the passions of your heart, the things that really make you tick, um, then uh, you'll see starting in, in the third week, the culmination of it would be a time to really like, you know, just have a good time. Nine of Cups, I've been getting this a lot happy with who you are happy if you're single being single but just really thrilled with just who you are and pleased with your life yep the chapter's ending with the universe there's a full moon on february 19th and that is the start of the pisces season i really honestly do see a new chapter with you guys starting um one is closing one is beginning are you going to carry out all the stuff from the previous chapter over or are you going to let it end and start something fresh? That's going to be completely up to you. That's totally your choice. Um, but those of you that are in relationship, here's another nine as well, the nine of crystals. I do see you being single by that point. If you're already single, I see you being, well, okay, let me put it this way. If you are a Leo in a relationship that's not going well, it, I don't see it, right? Like, or if it's a situation ship, you're trying to decide what to do. So you being single. And those of you that are already single, being happy with it. Okay? Um, and new ways of thinking about things, right? Here we go. Some new communication. Uh, or between you and this other person, communication could really, with the Knight of Swords, come to a screeching halt. And or you'll be able to honestly see what they're saying for real. Like, it'll be in your face by the third week. Like, you, you won't be able to deny the ish that's going on behind the scenes. And please exercise temperance, utilize logic and spirit. Listen, because this has been a, those of you that, whoever I'm talking to, this has been a very toxic relationship with the oppression card. And you've been trying to, you've been like moving away, not moving away, moving away, not moving away. Um, but it's really time to think something new and something different here with the page of crystals. It's time for you to go into a different direction, Leo whomever I'm talking to, this could be business, this could be romantic, but there's somebody in your midst that's just not, they're, they're as a, on the Lone Ranger speaking with a forked tongue, right? They're not being honest. Not being honest. Completely. They don't know any better. It's not like it's malicious. I do feel that there's some maliciousness there though for some, some of you. Now I gotta know. I'm going to grab the Arcanum deck and see who is being untrue with Leo. Do they mean them any harm? Is this malicious? And then we'll get to the fourth week, Leo. Just give me a second here. Sorry about that, guys. Wow, this is a tower moment you guys have been trying to walk away from and not handle. So this is a, you, you've been resisting this tower moment. Leo, you've known this person is extremely toxic and you're not, it's a codependent thing. You're not willing to walk away from it. This could still be a friend. It could be, you know, like we get into toxic codependent relationships with numerous people, but I feel like you are literally trying to manifest this yourself. And this is not for everybody. This is a general reading. There are some people this is going to resonate with. So to whomever I'm speaking, you manifested this. This ish was created and you are holding on to it. So it's time the it's time to cut them loose. This could be an air sign. This could be a Capricorn as well. I'm not getting clarity on that yet. 
Um, I feel like also with that Queen of Swords, this person is not being honest. Again, there's no honesty here. Like somebody's got to walk in the actual truth and it's like time for you to wake up and see that they don't mean you any good. Right? They're, they're going to keep like stringing you along, telling you, oh yeah, I'll sign the contract. Oh yeah, you'll get paid. Or oh yeah, I'll honestly be with you. Or oh yeah, I'm going to stop screwing around on you. Or whatever it is. It could be anything. Or oh yeah, I'm going to stop like talking to you like a freaking dog. I know you're my family member, but I'm going to stop talking to you like a dog and mistreating you. Like, it's not right. But I don't see, unfortunately, I do not see you walking away from this or making a decision this month, even though the recommendation, honestly, with two, with two runs reversed, I, you're stuck right now. Those of you that this, so hopefully I'm praying that you get unstuck, that you hear this, heed this warning and you get unstuck. Okay. So PSA over. Um, fourth week, the star card, hope, uh, again, this is like, uh, I see new dreams, new visions being dropped down in you, um, with a complete, like, oh my gosh, this is like super duper amazing. Um, also with the transformation card, which would be the death card. So this is definitely, you know, the trans, it definitely says transformation. Um, it's just, I see a newness about you. Go back to, I've been getting Akashic Records a lot. Beloveds, I really honestly believe that, um, we're, as a collective, we're kind of being called to go back into those Akashic Records. Um, Gabriel from Gabriel Inspires put a great video out for that. I should see, feel, let me link it up on my channel. And then also, if you want to do that work and you've never done it before, um, contact me. You can reach me below. This is you with the strength card. And the wheel turns. If you're willing to go back into yourself and willing to really access your higher self, your deeper self, and be able to say, hey, you know what? This is my true life purpose. Like, this is really what gets me going. This is why I came here. This was my, my plan. This was what I said I would do when I got here. And go back and, and, and live that out and release the toxic people for whomever that was. Um... And don't feel like you got to like always, you don't have to like push the process. Just you manifest, you rest, you plant the seed and let the let spirit guide you throughout the process. Okay. All right. I know that went a little long. I apologize. Um, hey guys, if you wish to work with me in any way, spiritual coaching, um, energy work of any kind, um, all that information is down below on how to reach out to me. Go on my website. If you want to do the Akashic Record thing, just, like, choose energy work, okay? Uh, also, the spiritual conference is happening March 8th through the 10th in Madison, Wisconsin, right here. I promise you it won't. So, no, I just can't promise you that. But anyway, um, listen, guys, Reiki one attunement. Become the healer you've always wanted to. We should always, we should get Reiki attuned, period. Like, just to have that ability to, like, be a true channel for universal life energy, um, we're going to do so you're going to get some self healing techniques and tools. You're going to also learn how to set up your own business. Um, you're going to, there's going to be opportunities again for gifts to really be illuminated and brought to the forefront. There's a lot of information here in two packed days. So that link is down there. You guys got to be here. You have to be here. You will truly, the theme of it is propel into purpose and if you bring your intention and an open heart with you, I guarantee you, and allow spirit to do its work in you, I guarantee you, you're going to get, you're going to leave here ready to be released out and do wonders in the world. All right, guys, until next time, peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Leave me some comments, like, subscribe, and share. I love you guys. Bye-bye.